What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Simon Reacts. Today, we're looking at the strangest collections in the world. I am with a perishing Tobe Jizzle and Hello. a Vic Star 123. Wait, wait, wait also... I'm not perishing, bro. I'm not dying, bro. Ah, uh, you never know. You're dead. Hey, well, hey, technically, hey, hey, we're all hey, slowly hey, hey. dying, but, no, but look, we're here to have yeah, some fun on I... Sidemen Reacts, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't want you to perish, brother. Of course not. But Thank yeah, you. Str Love strangest you. collections in the world. Let's watch that. Lots of people collect things as a hobby, and it's in no way a weird thing to do. Unless, that is, you take it to the extreme, like the people on this list. Some people just don't I know when to stop, and others, well, weird. they really should have never started. I'm counting uh, down the top 20 why. I was gonna say, I was gonna, in top, the top world. 20, you know? Prepare to be shocked, amused, uh -huh. and at points, totally disgusted. Oh, <laughs> that makes Team me America. Team Oh, no, not right now. Number 20, <coughs> love dolls. What? It's fairly okay. uncommon Never for a person to have one. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. It's almost unimaginable. Have you, Vic? But Bob Gibbs. Bro. Would you? That's got the whole gang out there. No. Would you? No. It's not, it's not a bit of me. I can't lie. <gasps> Would you? I need Jeez. to know. Stop, stop. I'm trying to say that question. I need to know. He's got a wife. 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 Number 19, oh, God, toenail clipper. Okay. Oh, 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 I take everything I said at the start of the video back. Because this collection is pretty great. Don't know why I expected, Richard Gibson of Louisiana collects no, that's his toenail clippers. That's actually fucking oh, oh. nails to a jar. Bro, why I look like pasta? Bro, he uses scissors as well. <laughs> Cooking up a drawer like pasta. <laughs> Which I'm sure all his house oh, guests must love. Right, his collection isn't the longest. No, that's grim. There's actually another one with a stomach yeah. churning 30,000 clippings. Thankfully, Ooh. this collection is for medical purposes and is being used That's in Photoshop studies on there. prostate no. cancer. Yeah. <coughs> Number 18, Navel Fluff. What? Don't start eating again just From yet. your belly button. This one's pretty gross, too. Is that what it you is? You know that yeah. mysterious belly Blech. button fluff Bro, the that the photos in this video are killing me. Well, Graham Barker <laughs> collects it. He's careful to state that he only collects his own, though. If you're I've never had fluff in my belly button. I have, I have. The collection dates like back to 1984, and Graham says he seldom misses a day's harvest. Number 17. Hot sauce. All right. So okay. See I this some hot sauce. No. Baby, we we get. I like this. I like this one. Hot sauce. See, this is collection. what I was expecting. And that's okay. <laughs> that's <pretty impressive. laughs> hey, the one in the middle. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. <laughs> hot sauce. Jeez. The collection has taken 17 years to amass. <laughs> that's cool. And it lines the walls of his Arizona. Do you reckon the ones from like the 90s are matured? Most expensive bottle is matured. a 900 dollar one like, of a kind. They're probably really illegal. He also owns a bottle of the world's hottest <laughs> sauce, the Caldera 16 mil. 16. Vic actually made a career out of his love of spice. See? He classes himself as an educator. See what does? That's a dub. Yeah, this is a dub. Where he tells you your toenails. Pass out or throw up. <coughs> How charming. Number 16, traffic cone. From hot Ethan, this is a bit of you, mate. Ethan started his collection, world. but you never know, <laughs> You just, you just wait. Ride, you just huh? wait. David Morgan from England. Why do you think I've got a place so much loud? I'm just going to put traffic cones everywhere. Else. That's around two thirds of all the types that were ever made. David says he got feels sorry for the cones that have been forgotten. <laughs> so he brings them home, cleans them, and puts them in his garage so they aren't damaged by light. David says that people tend to avoid them at dinner parties. It's quite weird. Yeah. I took one just for a laugh, but. It's probably only women that avoid Chen Kim Zhu due to the fact that he just loves collecting bras. Chen okay, from yeah, China no, has more weird, than 5,000 bro. bras, bro. which is collected <laughs> over a 20-year period. Literally this bro. collection is made up of bras from students of more than 30 what? colleges and universities, which makes the entire thing a little more suspect. No, he's, he's but entire... Chen seems to have he's... ethical reasons yeah. for his collection. His dream is to open a bra museum to increase awareness of breast health. Or at least that's what he's telling the ladies that some of <laughs> Number 14, Stones. Tapped. If you thought collecting uh, this is what Zerka would do, by the way. I feel like this is a Zerka it thing. The 60s the I like yeah, I Zerka. I do like collecting like shells from the, the stones in the shell. Shells is different. Yeah. If they're if they're, they're cool shapes or something like yeah. The shapes that he sees in them, such as human profiles, animal heads, and work okay, tools. Okay. He doesn't know how many oh, stones okay. make up his collection, but he says that the collection is significant. Yeah, this guy rocks. That may well be the understatement of the century. Oh my god. Number 13. This guy rocks. Most people tend to try and wasp. avoid wasp nests, but not Terry Prouty. He loves oh. the thing. 
They don't so even make honey, so, do they? Fact, bees. He's been collecting them yeah. for 25 years. What's so just Oklahoma angry little men? Yeah, Terry became the world. fascinated I mean, they're not men. <laughs> he was growing well, up. Well, he now collects their nests. Terry, who calls himself Hornet Boy, buys most of his nests online Hornet and boy. has spent up to $200 <laughs> for boy. good quality ones. He firmly <laughs> believes that he isn't as well educated on wasps as they should be and that the wasp has been unfairly given a bad name. What do you think? Let me know down Wasps die, don't they, if they sting someone? Number 12. Mm. Nice potato piece. chips no. shaped oh. as weird things. I love potato chips, but usually I'm cramming them into my mouth so quickly that I don't notice what shape they are. That's not the case with Myrtle Young, though. Wow. She takes her time with her chips uh. and saves the ones oh. that fall. Oh, that's quite cool. Well, quite. in fact, she worked as a potato chip inspector and siphoned off all the ones with interesting shapes. <laughs> There's a dog's head, a pair of mittens, and a butterfly. Look, with a dog's well with a job like that, I don't really. Cowboy boots. Don't Myrtle's really, collection yeah. soon caught the attention of <laughs> that the dog national one is sick. Yeah. Yeah. And himself said that he was impressed Shout by her Myrtle. potato chip mouse. Go Myrtle. Number 11. Nicotine Gumball. What? Barry eh? Chappelle is the owner of the world's largest ABC gumball. Any guesses as to what ABC means? Well, disgustingly, it stands for Already Been Cheap. No. Oh, oh, no. Barry was a heavy smoker and had his brain waved to start a gumball when he was on an international flight. Not being able to smoke, Barry started chewing nicotine gum to satisfy his cravings. Perhaps Stop the altitude bitch. of the flight sent him a little loopy because that day he started his collection of 95,200 pieces of gum. The weird. gumball now is 175 pounds that and brilliantly, Barry doesn't oh, smoke. He's 175 10, pounds. Banana stickers. You know those stickers that come on bananas? Okay, this well, is strange. Becky Martz enjoys them so much that she collects them and has over seven. I don't mind this one. <coughs> I, I don't either. I think, it's, I think it's quite hard. It's so hard. random. And there's so many different designs. I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. There's so many other random. I don't there. mind this one. Magical. I quite like that. Number nine. Yeah. Nails. Right. Thankfully, this time I'm not talking about toenails. Hey. I'm talking about actual nails for DIY. Richard Jones from Wales has a collection Look at those. of Holy shit. Off nails, nails gathered from all over the world over the past That's 50 cool. years. Yeah. He says that a lot of people think nails are boring, but he's <laughs> changed a lot of people's minds. Um, the jury's still out for me, I'm afraid. Like, Number it's eight. Still pouring, milk. fella. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'd think a former milkman would have had his fill of milk bottles while on the job, but uh -huh. not Paul Luke. He loves the things and has been collecting them since he was nine. More than 20 years have passed, but Paul shows no fair, sign those of giving kind of milk up. He's aiming so to rare increase now his that collection this collection might actually be worth different something one day. Number sure, seven, he's milking it. Super hey. oh. The most fun collection on the list has to go to this guy. Imagine summers at Chris and Dave. Chris and Dave. <laughs> Chris has 240 Chris unique designs 44. in his collection, including one that's signed by nah, super inventor Lonnie Johnson himself. Chris, if you're watching this, oh, it's good, Chris. To play with your <laughs> Number six, erasers. This collection might seem slightly less exciting than my last entry, but the sheer volume of it is frankly incredible. Is Petra odd. Ingalls owns almost 20,000 erasers. She's been collecting them for years and has it's designs just, for more uh, than 100 why? different countries. Like stationary collections, bored, Angelica Umberhau from Germany has the largest collection of ballpoint pens, and Tushar Lachenpel has the most pencils. I wonder how large wow. his pencil case is. Anyway, Number no, five, group chat for air sure. sickness <laughs> bags. If you fancy That's checking out some of the so weird, uh, bro, why she got Lego hair? Bags. There's an online. If you Lula. fancy checking out some of the, uh, best sick bags, there's this an one's online very virtual weird. museum set up for your yeah, viewing pleasure. Yeah, something is so random. Virtual examples museum. on display. And if that wasn't enough, there's also bus sickness bags and even space sickness bags. But don't right. all air sickness bags look the same? I hear you asking. Nope. Some Sorry are for actually quite artistic. Viewers. In fact, Virgin Atlantic even held a Design for Chunks project in what? 2004 Chad where junk. artists submitted their artwork <laughs> in the hope of having it featured on their limited <laughs> Number four, Soviet calculators. Holy With some okay. collections, I can't help but wonder where the inspiration from them came from. And Sergei Frolov's Soviet calculator That's collection nice. is Sergei. definitely one of those. It just seems so specific. As well as 150 Soviet-made calculators, Sergei is also the proud this. owner of lots of vintage computers, watches, and slides. This is interesting. I'd recommend yeah. you check out Sergei's YouTube Dude, channel once you finish channel. watching this video. It's, it's uh, pretty interesting. Number three, do not disturb signs. Now uh, this is a okay. collection I can get on board with. I hate being disturbed. That's not that meme. <laughs> not as much as Jean-Francois Vernetti from Switzerland. He's collected an unbelievable 11,111 different Do Not Disturb signs from hotels in 180 countries. To be fair, it's a good oh, excuse to go to These signs are all technically like stolen, 
Should I be mm. telling you about this guy? My bad. Number two, yo-yos. Florida resident Dr. John. Yo -yos yo -yo. There may like be a, a yo -yo. Up, but he's clearly this a kid two, at though, heart. So His not... collection is anything to go by. Dr. Well, John start has a collection of more than 10,000 yo-yos, which has earned him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. One of his toys dates Guinness back to the late records. 18th century, and another is as tall course, as a person. No, I mean, I want one of the records. <laughs> John isn't only known for his yo-yo collection. He is also featured on Ripley's Believe It or Not for swimming half a mile with his foot in his mouth. What, what the fuck? He's an award-winning novelist. What a guy. Huh? Number one. One cent coins. Yeah, this is big one is Otha Anders, a Louisiana sense. resident who knows that if you take care of the pennies, the uh, dollars uh, will look after it. themselves. Otha has sense. been collecting <laughs> one cent coins for hey. 45 years, and his final haul contained over half a million of them. He's That's never nuts. been tempted to sell them because they remind him to stay thankful. So much so, in fact, that if he saw one on the ground in a store or at a petrol station, he would stop and say a prayer. He only uh. cashed in his pennies when his home insurance stopped covering oh, him. And what a uh -huh. payday it was. They totaled more than $5,000, uh, and it took the well, bank then. five hours to process them. <laughs> Cashing them bank. in was a smart choice, but I kind of wish he'd gone down the same route as he pikey That's and created sick. this he, incredible... What? As who? As, very as who? <laughs> you, you're a dickhead. <laughs> as who? That is, what? <laughs> five hours to process them. Cashing them in was a smart choice, but I kind of wish <laughs> he'd gone down the same route as he pikey. <laughs> who? He's what? Incredible He's what? You called me what? To each their own, though, I suppose. So which collection do you think? <laughs> Is the Am I allowed to do that? Are there any that you yeah, I'm allowed to do that. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's a good laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good laugh. That's a good laugh. That's a good laugh. <laughs> I was trying to think of, you know, you, you are, it makes sense. I was trying to think of like collecting, couple, collecting coins allowed him to make peas with himself. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> nice. And on that note, it's insensitive. It's, it's, time, it's time to end the video. <laughs>